Guys, you can see practically, this is cantilever beam design. So I will guide you for a steel reinforcement detail. So let's get started guys. Length of this beam is 7 feet. Depth is 18 inches. Width is 12 inches. With concrete cover. Here guys, we have total 10 steel rods. Dia is 16 millimeter. 3 steel rods at the bottom, 3 at the top, 4 are side bars. On each side we have 4 extra steel rods. As you can see stirrup, uh, stirrup spacing and its steel reinforcement details. Dia for this stirrup is 8 mm with the spacing of 100 to 150 mm from 4 to 6 inches. Guys, you can see hooks are bent on 90 degree. So this is one of the big mistake. It should be provided on 135 degree. The hook length should not be less than 3 inches. Guys, you can see clearly at the end of this beam is stirrup is 6 inches spacing. Guys, this is not the proper design of this cantilever beam. Only we have side bars. Guys, you can see this is simply supported beam. 6 steel rods, 3 at the bottom, 3 at the top, dia is 16 mm. Stirrup dia is 8 mm with the spacing of 8 inches. From 6 to 8 inches. Hooks are bent on 90 degrees, same. So for cantilever beam, we should use the proper steel structural design. Actually, they don't have a side supervisor, they don't have steel structural drawing, so therefore, they provided same 3 steel rods at the bottom, 3 at the top. On the other hand, guys, you can see here, this is simply supported beam. Size is same. This is the junction between beam and column. Here we should provide extra steel rods or bent up bar to resist negative bending moment to the distance of L by 4. Unfortunately, they did not provide, so this is also one of the big mistake. Guys, you can see clearly. Shuttering size is 12 by 18 inches. This is floor beam. Hope this short video can help you. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.